I need everybody to do this and promise me that you're gonna watch to the end of this video. Let's go! Make me feel well, oh, I can't break the spell, I just have to fix it. What's going on, wolves? It's your boy Jesse Catalano, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can master your fate for the rest of your life. Wow. That sounds really amazing when I say it like that. But I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I've really been waiting to share this with you guys since day one. And I really think this is gonna be one of the best videos that I ever create that's actually going to have a long lasting impact on your entire life. You guys really have to pay attention to everything I'm about to share with you. It's a very unique concept that's not necessarily directly related to fitness, but there are definitely elements of what I'm about to share you that you can relate to fitness. So without further ado, here is how you can master your fate with something that I like to call the cycles of life. I didn't make this up. I actually learned about this um, reading a book and the name of the book was called Master Your Fate with the cycles of life, and it was written by a doctor. His name was Dr. Spencer Lewis. I think it was written in like the 1920s. This is a very old concept that stems off of Rosicrucian law. So what are the cycles of life? Every single person has seven cycles in one year. So that means every single year, you and I, we go through seven phases or periods of 52 days each. There's a cycle one, there's a cycle two, there's a cycle three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, and every single cycle is 52 days, okay? You got that. Everyone's cycle one starts on their birthday. So your cycle one starts on your birthday, my cycle one starts on my birthday. So my birthday is April 11th, which means that my cycle one started on April 11th. If your birthday is December 25th, that means that your cycle one starts on December 25th and you're in cycle one for 52 days thereafter. Shut up, helicopter! Shut up! I'm making a video for everybody! You're so loud! Go away! Helicopters, like, ugh, you're so rude, helicopter! Okay, that's much, much better. I'm gonna stand on the couch. Ah. Yo, how dope is this view real quick though? Can you guys see the view? It's my rooftop. You guys love it when I make videos on the rooftop. Holy shit. Where did I leave off? Cycles. So each cycle has its own tendency that just naturally happen even if you don't know about the cycles. The whole part of learning about the cycles is so that you can master your fate and so that you can better understand life. So there's certain natural tendencies that'll just happen naturally without you even knowing about it. But if you know about the cycles, then you'll be able to really understand your life and then even take it a step further when you can start to understand what cycles your friends are in or your family is in, that's when life gets really, really interesting and it just helps you navigate through your journey of life even better. Let me just talk about the certain tendencies of the cycles real quick. So cycle one is all about renewing friendships. It's all about reestablishing your reputation and your character. And I'm gonna share a story of my cycle one because I'm just ending my cycle one right now. My birthday was April 11th and today is May 24th. So I'm about to head into my cycle two in a few days, but I really wanna share my cycle one story with you because it's just absolutely true. This is so true for every single person that lives on this planet. I have not found a measurement to succeed in your life other than mastering these cycles. Like, I've studied personal development, I've studied success like my entire life, I've studied finance, I've studied and mastered the art of Japanese Jiu Jitsu. Like, I know a lot of shit and when I learned about these cycles just a few years ago, it really even took my life to a whole new level. It took me out here to California and crushing out here, having fun. And I've been able to help a lot of my friends and my family and my clients with these cycles as well. Cycle one is all about renewing friendships, Reestablishing your reputation and rebuilding your character. Cycle two is all about exciting short trips, short journeys, nothing of permanence. Everything that happens in cycle two will end at the end of cycle two. And guys, 
you can Google this stuff. This isn't like just secret stuff. You can Google the cycles of life and learn about it in a shorter context and do your own studying about this. I will always recommend that you guys do your own studying. Cycle three is all about physical vitality. When you are in your cycle three for that 52 day period, you will feel physically on, like you crush it. It's a work cycle. It's like you're building things. Cycle one is like the rebirth, the new journey, your new year. Cycle two is like exploring. Oh, I'm just gonna share a whole story of that after. Cycle three, physically on, you're killing it. Cycle four, that energy that was once physical now goes into your mind, into your consciousness, into your awareness. Your mind becomes stimulated with high energy and thoughts, the cosmic powers will will just like turn you into a superhuman badass and you're able to like eloquently express your thoughts and you're just like you could write really well, you're creative, you plan things and it just all goes to your mind. Wow. Cycle five is your success cycle. It's the coming together of your whole year. All success in your personal and in your private affairs, you will succeed in your cycle five. You'll make a lot of money in your cycle five. Your life just gets dope in your cycle five. Like your relationships with all of your friends, your family, your coworkers, your clients, everybody loves you in your cycle five and it's awesome, okay? Cycle six is called the holiday cycle. It's a period for long trips and journeys, pleasure, relaxation, and you also have just as much success in your cycle six as you do in your cycle five. Now here's where shit's gonna get crazy. Your cycle seven. Everyone, when I tell them about cycle seven, they get like really, really scared, okay? Your cycle seven is the 52 day period before your birthday. I want you to think of your life for like the last five years. And I want you to think about the shit that went down the 52 days before your birthday. Your cycle seven is the critical and most disruptive period of every single year. It's the breaking down in order so that there may be more room for the new, for your new cycle one. I've always kind of affiliated cycle seven, like, oh shit, cycle seven's coming, cycle seven's coming, like, what's gonna happen? Like, usually anything that's like hanging fire and about to like shed from your life will shed from your life in your cycle seven. Um, it's the breaking down in order so that they, there may be a building up for a new life, for your new year. And it's crazy because like, my cycle seven, 2016, I left the apartment that I was living in for a year. Um, I was shedding like my roommate who happened to just get really sick at that time. I was shedding clients that were just no longer serving me in my life. And also, in that time, I had lost my grandfather. My grandfather died. So some shit goes down in your cycle seven and this will just happen naturally without you even knowing about it. So that's what I really want you guys to do. I really want you guys to look back at the 52 day period before your birthday for like the last five or even 10 years and like think about your life. So, so crazy. In Adam's last cycle seven, he was moving from the Hollywood Hills into Venice and the kid was sleeping on my couch for 30 days. So hilarious. But it was like during his cycle seven. So other little tendencies, I mean, I could talk about this shit all day, guys. I know I'm probably like, really, this is a long video at this point, but I'm just gonna post the whole thing because this will happen to your life whether you know about it or whether you don't know about it. So that's the craziest part about all of this. I could literally hear about some girl talking about all of the issues in her life. She gets evicted from her house, she gets arrested at Coachella, all this crazy things happen to her, and I'm like, when is her birthday? Look up her birthday, she's in her cycle seven. Like, oh, it's her birthday in two weeks, no shit shit is going down so funny but i love talking about cycle seven because it's like there's certain cycles that obviously i haven't mastered yet i said i was going to share a story with you guys oh man we're at like 11 minutes right now damn i'm going to share the story of my recent cycle one because it was just my birthday in april 11th right now it's may 24th which means i'm ending my cycle one let me read it to you so this is directly from the book itself i got my ipad out right now Helicopter, what the fuck helicopter? Go away! You're always a distraction. I don't like you, helicopter. 
go away. That's right. Keep flying. So, I got, <laughs> I got my iPad and I'm gonna read cycle one to you right now. Period number one. This is a period of 52 days during which a person should utilize every personal power and ability to advance his own interests among persons of influence who have the powers or privileges to grant or give. It is a period when solicitation should be made for favors, either seeking employment, benefits, loans, partnerships, investments, or even favors in the form of time or blah, 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 okay, It is an especially good period to seek favors or honors, help or recognition from persons who are in high power or high positions. You guys ready for this? This is a good period for advancing one's own personal self among the populace or with people of your city, state, or country. Straight from the book. Wolves! What just went down in my cycle one? I joined the wolves, right? My influence among the populace has grown and expanded and I've reestablished my reputation amongst the war. It's so funny, I'm so into this. Obviously, as you can tell by my energy when I create this video. Here's what I want everybody to do. I want every single person right now to take out a pen and a piece of paper and find your cycles. Get your dates for each cycle. So my dates, April 11th to June 2nd, that's 52 days. From June 2nd, you count out another 52 days. After that date, you count out another 52 days. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post all of my cycles in the description below, and I want everybody to comment what cycle you are in right now. This is everyone's little homework assignment for today. I promise you guys this will change your life. Do this, get out a calendar and figure out your dates. You will know that you did it correctly when your cycle seven matches up to the day of your birthday or the day right before your birthday. We have a lot more to talk about with this. If you guys even wanna learn more about this, let me know. Hit me up, because I could talk about this stuff all day. It's just so real and so true for everybody. Mastering life, mastering fate, together. That's what we do here on the Wolves. We do our push-ups, we do our sit-ups, we do our body weight squats, we, we eat our eggs and our protein shakes, we absorb the sunlight, we laugh with our friends, we hug our family, kiss our moms, we explore, we dream. Damn. I think that wraps it up for today's video. What do you guys think? My name is Jesse Catalano, and we are the Wolves. You are a badass, and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's black and white.